Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be walking through this problem with you as though you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's practice problem is found in the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson three of the biology two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. To really ace this question, we need to understand the RAAS system, which increases blood pressure in the body and increases salt reuptake as well. Let's walk through this system briefly and talk about how it works. First, the liver releases angiotensinogen into the blood, and the kidney, the juxtaglomerular cells specifically, release renin into the blood. Renin then acts on the angiotensinogen to turn it into angiotensin 1. Later, angiotensin converting enzyme, or ACE, will act on angiotensin 1 to convert it into angiotensin 2. Once angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2, it can act on the adrenal cortex and cause the release of aldosterone, which is going to increase our blood pressure and increase our salt reuptake as well. Perfect. Now let's come back to our question and see what we can figure out. Essentially what's going on here is we have a patient that has low blood pressure and we want to figure out what might be the cause. We send them in for some lab results and we find out that the liver function is normal. That's important. Renin secretion is also normal. However, the blood vessels aren't constricting the way they should and we have limited salt reuptake. Let's go through our answer options. First off, atherosclerosis of the arterioles. Okay, that's going to be a distractor option because while that option may affect the blood pressure, it's not going to affect our salt reuptake. So let's cross that off. Next, low angiotensinogen levels. Well, we know angiotensinogen is produced by the liver and it seems like liver function is normal. So I'm gonna guess that we have plenty of angiotensinogen, which means that's not the right answer. Next, apoptotic juxtaglomerular cells. Apoptosis refers to cell death. So essentially what this answer is saying is that our juxtaglomerular cells are dying. But it looks like renin secretion is unimpaired, and we know it's the juxtaglomerular cells that release the renin. So this can't be the right answer option either. That leaves us with the last option, dysfunctional ACE protein, which makes a lot of sense because we're getting angiotensinogen and we're getting renin, which means we're getting angiotensin 1. But if the ACE protein isn't working, then we won't get angiotensin 2. So we won't get aldosterone and we won't get an increase in blood pressure. We'll have low blood pressure. So this is going to be our option. Let's check it. Okay, perfect. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. If you'd really like to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time.